can't hear you. Come on, kids. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's better, that's better. Thank you, everybody, for turning out today. Great to see you all. Hopefully, the rain will go pretty quick. But um, before the entertainment continues, just got a few uh, words from our distinguished guests. We've got the Lord Mayor Nottingham, we've got the uh, Sheriff of Nottingham, we've got Robin Hood, we've got Councillors John and uh, um, Donald and uh, Ian McGarvey from Donegal County Council. We'll see you forward. And, and uh, yeah, Caroline Savage from the Irish Embassy. So I'm just going to ask them to say a few words and then we'll get back down to the, the entertainment. So just hang with us. Thank you. Just call the Lord Mayor. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. As Lord Mayor of Nottingham, I'm pleased, pleased and delighted to be here today to welcome you all into the Market Square for the 16th St. Patrick's Day Parade through Astley Streets. And in particular, I'd like to welcome our civic guests from this year's twin county of Donegal, thanks to Councillor John McDonnell, Ian McGarvey, and the Minister of Manager. Colin McNaughty for coming to visit us in Nottingham and I do hope you have a very good time even though it's a short visit. I'd also like to welcome Caroline Savage, the commercial attaché from the Irish Embassy whose visit reflects the importance of this occasion. Nottingham has a large Irish community and although there are many events arranged throughout the year, today's parade is probably the biggest event of the all and one that I'm sure will provide a wealth of entertainment for all who attend. It takes a considerable amount of hard work to stage this festival and parade. I know it's a credit to all the volunteers involved and thank you to all the volunteers. Thank you to all the volunteers. I know a lot of organisations struggle without volunteers and we're very grateful for the part they play. Built upon the success of previous years, I'm positive that this St. Patrick's Day Festival Parade has been and will continue to be a wonderful spectacle and one of the city's main community cultural events. Thank you very much and I do hope you all enjoy the rest of the day. Happy St. Patrick's Day everyone. Thank you very much Lord Mayor. Now we'd like to call on uh, Councillor McGarvey from Donegal County Council and former Mayor of Donegal. Councillor McGarvey. Lord Mayor and all of you today, but as well as that, may I say, well he called me Doherty, he's so familiar with all the Dohertys from Minnesota. But I want to give, some of the ladies that asked me to give them a wave there today, so I want to give them a wave as well. So from Donegal we have Councillor O'Donnell, and we have Colin McNulty, and we have Hel Aga Lawn, and we have the Ambassador from Dublin here as well, uh, Caroline. So, Savage, so what I was going to say to you this morning and this afternoon is I'm so proud and privileged to be in Nottingham today, having been in New York and Philadelphia last year. The hospitality that has been shown us by, by Paul Curtis and Martin here and others since we came to this area is unbelievable. We talk about hospitality in Ireland and courtes being courteous to people and so on. But I think you could show us. And I have asked now that we arrange a twinning together between Nottingham and Donegal as never before. So it's an opportunity for all of us to realize what we have in Donegal as well. But what I don't, I was told you don't have very long, so I want to say to all the distinguished guests on the platform, even Robin Hood and the sheriff, I just got the Robin Hood arrested there the last, just over the last minute. So there we are, we have somebody arrested in Nottingham as never before as well. <laughs> but I do want to say to you, we just launched a book in Glen Bay Castle. We have so many things in Donegal uh, that would appeal to you. And Councillor O'Donnell and myself, he's only here since last night. He says he knows half the people in Nottingham today. Can you believe that? Give him a round of applause. And as I say to all our friends that we have made since we come here, give them a round of applause for I think you should be proud of them. That's the first thing. The other thing, Gay Byrne launched a book, Visit Donegal. There's a website and all. Get a book here if you can today at the Irish stall. There's also a food stall up here as well because they're producing the best food that one can get in the world in Donegal. And they'd be delighted to offer some of it to the people of Nottingham 
now and in the future. So we have uh, 13 blue flag beaches in Donegal. We have the Wild Atlantic Way. We have Sleeve League. And we have, if you like, tourist attractions from Malnhead to, we'll say, our very islands offshore. So anyone who visits the book and visits our website, go visit Donegal. I will tell you one thing, they will get some surprise. So we have a Donald's Foods here today, and we have the Doherty uh, Donegal food as well. So there are opportunities if anyone feels they're coming to Donegal. But going back to the other thing, as a council, and as people with the provost here, with the sheriff here, with the mayor here, we are so delighted to be here today. And I couldn't but wish all of you a very happy St. Patrick's Day. And I should say to you in a bit of a Irish language before I go, to ahas mor orum, a wal men shoch, an akis spes is the shoch, and you, agus as mien lob, a kor fighter of the lake, la la Patrick. So ladies and gentlemen, to all of you who have listened to me, and I would like to talk to you much longer, but there will be opportunities to make connections between Nottingham and Donegal as never before. And I'm delighted with the turnout today, and as I say, Maggie, each and every one of you wave, as I promised the ladies that would do it here today. So to Martin, your chairperson and everything else, and all the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen and children, may I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Because when we talk about La Le Patrick, we can talk about a saint, and they're not sure, first of all, of his birth, where he was born, or where they even buried him. But I will say one thing, he has made some contribution to the Irish people throughout the world, bringing them the Christianity, and offering the word of, would we'll say, hospitality no matter where they go. So many of us, and I particularly do, feel very, very proud to be Irish. And as I say to anyone that's not Irish, we would be delighted to talk to you, be associated with you, trade with you, or do anything we can in the future. But for goodness sake, one thing I have to say, and I heard it just this morning when we attended the search service, the one of the priests actually said, he said, if you walk backwards, you never see anything. So I say to our Irish people, no matter where they are, let's stop walking backwards and from here on, and let us walk forwards, because we can do only good no matter where we go, by recognizing our fellow man throughout the world, because they have made such a contribution to Ireland. I just can't ignore it. And I say thanks to the British, thanks to everybody, because you have 62 million people, and if I could take you all out back with me to Ireland, it would take them over there, and they would be delighted to have you as well. So ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests, Lord Mayor, Provost, everybody that has been with us here today, thank you ever so much. Thank you, Lord Commissioner McGarvey. Appreciate that. Uh, now we just uh, have a, um, a word from uh, Caroline Savage from the Irish Embassy. Hello, everybody. It's a very hard act to follow, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, Lord Mary and Malcolm, um, Sheriff Jackie Morris, her husband Andy, Councillors McGarvey and O'Donnell from County Donegal, Irish friends and friends of Ireland, a you. I'm really delighted to be here today to, at uh, Nottingham St. Patrick's Day Festival. On behalf of Ambassador Mulhall, we'd like to wish everybody a very happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm delighted to see so many people here today also. The success of the parade and the festival now in its 16th year is testament to the vibrancy of the Irish community here in Nottingham and to the warmth felt towards the Irish community in Nottingham and indeed all across Britain. I'd like to thank and congratulate Paul and his colleagues in the committee for their tireless work over the last 16 years organising the St. Patrick's Day Parade and Festival. I'd also like to pay tribute to the Irish community and Friends of Ireland here in Nottingham for supporting the parade and the festival throughout the years and for contributing to creating such a wonderful celebration of Irish culture, heritage and community. Just to say, we've come a long way in the past few years. Ireland has been through some challenging times. But the good news is that Ireland now is on its way back to economic recovery. The Irish abroad, particularly you here in Britain and in Nottingham, have been a very important part of our comeback story. And uh, we deeply value all that you do to promote Ireland here in Britain. Again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Enjoy the celebrations. Banathina Fáil of Horic or of Galair. Thank you very much, Caroline. Uh, now we're just going to have a little exchange of gifts, it was always traditional, so if we can get uh, the, uh, the Lord Mayor and the Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
If you could just pause for a second, just for photograph for the photographer, please. May I thank them very much for the exchange of gifts, because that in itself is a friendship that should never go away between ourselves and yourselves out, out there. So I'm delighted to be here again this afternoon. So many thanks again. Go to my hobbit. Thank you, Ganey. If you could just stand there one second, just for official photographer here. Monsignor and Caroline, come on head in as well. Okay, thank you very much, Douglas. Okay, folks, thank you very much. I hope you should enjoy the entertainment. And uh, just coming up next, we have the, um, the Glendara Dancing School. So just bear us a few minutes while they get set up and we'll kick off the entertainment. Mm -hmm.